Welcome to another edition of The Leaders Room. My name is Michael Kostler. Today we're speaking with Konstantin Korotkov from St. Petersburg University in Russia. We'll be talking about energy, human energy and leadership energy. Professor, thank you so much for joining us today. And, and so you've got this camera and it takes pictures of human energy. Tell me about that, please. So uh, we have uh, different instruments, and this is our latest instrument. And the name of this instrument is BioWell. And it's a part of bioelectrography design. Uh, and in scientific term, it is gas discharge visualization, GDV. But of course, it's very complicated for lay people. And it's designed to take uh, energy readings of human beings, of air, of environment, water. So it's multi-purpose. And we have all very sophisticated software, but all software is now is in internet on server. So when we take readings, we send everything to server. It makes all processing using very sophisticated nonlinear mathematics. And then we have a lot of data. And we can evaluate energy condition of people. We can give uh, information about different organs, systems, condition. And what's important, uh, two topics. First, we can see some problems, some weak areas of the body long before uh, people have some symptoms, before people have pain, before people have some impressions. And you know that in medicine it is very important because if we can define for example, uh, cardiovascular problem, or oncology, or some severe disease on a very early stage. Now, with modern medicine, in most cases, it's easy to do. It's some treatment. We have powerful medical means how to do this. And then people may be healthy and proceed in their life. If you catch up cancer, for example, at the first stage, then it is very poor situation. If people don't know that they have some problems, for example, with their cardiovascular system, then they may have infarct from blue sky. But it's not blue sky, because it was long before in their system. Their system was not good, but they didn't feel it. They didn't know this. They didn't pay attention to little symptoms that they had. So that's why this is important benefit of this approach, of this camera. And second, we can follow up different uh, situations. We can follow up treatment. And you know that now we have a lot of, I would say, non-conventional treatment, like electromagnetic treatment, magnetic devices, and different uh, applications that allow to change a human state. But it is all very subtle. Who can tell that whether acupuncture is efficient or not? Only in long run. But with this instrument, you can see it practically immediately. Before session, after session, readings takes just a couple of minutes. And uh, then you see all results. And you immediately can evaluate whether it was positive, whether it was negative, how was this transformation of the bo body coming. And then it helps doctor. So the main idea of this line, of this development, of this scientific line, to show people that they are not just material bodies. They are not just physical, but they are much more than that. So they are energy beings, they are light beings, they are part of God's creation, and they emit light. And what does mean light? It's frequency. So we can tell that people, those are frequency. And frequency, it is what connects us with the universe. So when we are taking this measurement, we can tell about material body, we can tell about consciousness, we can tell about spirit. And of course, this uh, makes us a bridge between hard science, because I'm physicist, I'm quantum physicist, and spirituality, and ideas of spiritual role of human being on this earth. And now I would like to uh, show how it works, how it looks like. So maybe I can ask uh, my colleague to come and uh, Michael, <laughs> hi, how are you? Good, good. So, okay, let's yes. make a measurement. Okay. So please apply your finger one by one. Mm -hmm. And we make your scan just now. 
Okay, now it's coming. Okay. Okay, next one, please. Whoops. It's okay, it's especially designed this way. <laughs> next one. Okay. Next one. Next one. And little one. And other hand as well. Certainly. Same, same procedure. Yes. Next one, please. Next one. Next one. And the little one. Okay, and now let's repeat your uh, uh, this ring finger. Yes, this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. So now I check with all details. Okay, very good. Now it's all done. We have all green, you see. Mm -hmm. And now we send it to server. And server now we have in uh, Moscow, <laughs> but uh, soon we transform it to United States, to Amazon server. It's much uh, more powerful server. Okay. And now you see we have all your information. Mm -hmm. So you see, uh, you have very good energy, very good energy. Um, it's quite strong. And if we look to this, you have very good level of stress. It's totally in balance. We have uh, your energy is absolutely in normal range. Your balance between left and right hemisphere is really very good because so you're a very balanced uh, person. If you look to your chakras, then today they are a little bit uh, different. Different, yes. Uh, because different. we did this yesterday and that's, yeah. it's a little bit different. Yes, it was different uh, and I understand why. Because uh, yesterday you was under the impression of all this workshop of mm -hmm. all lectures mm -hmm. and it's really very strong energy influence today in the morning of course uh, it's not that strong but still your energy is very good if we look to your health status it is very good all mm -hmm. green line energy status it's very strong again it's uh, in uh, all in a very good line balance is quite good but uh, we've been discussing with you some moment that you need to pay attention to Organ energy as well, it's quite good. Everything is po in positive range. So when uh, I uh, make uh, overall conclusion on this field, so the first conclusion that you are practically a healthy person mm. in good energy state, in good health state, that uh, you are extrovert. Mm -hmm. You can really um, discuss with people, you can really influence other people, and it's the type of your energy field that you have. It's practically no breaks. Mm -hmm. You see, it's rounded, it's closed, and so it is really um, good, very good information that we have. And uh, in principle, you may be healthy, and of course, uh, when I make a report, uh, then uh, we, uh, we have all your information. We can uh, give you some details of your uh, situation that you need to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. So some, I would say, suggestions and advices where you need to pay attention to in your health state. Yeah. A few minutes ago, you mentioned that using these readings, you can pick up subtleties that may not manifest themselves as symptoms Mm -hmm. for quite a period of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yesterday when we talked, you, you were reading, uh, reading the, uh, the images from yesterday, and you asked me a question about my kidneys, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a specific mm -hmm. area, and I, I don't mind sharing this with the camera, mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. said, has mm -hmm. anything been go happening with my kidneys mm -hmm. recently? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I was discovered that I had mm -hmm. kidney stones, yes, and, I, and had them removed. Mm -hmm. And you pointed to that 
on, on the images. Is that an example? And perhaps maybe you can give one or two others examples using me because you shared a few other things about what do you see with the subtleties? Even though I have a good energy field, mm -hmm. what are the subtleties in it? Absolutely. So it shows us absolutely clear example of your kidney. And again, it shows here. So, and uh, that's why I remember that we were discussing yesterday. Uh, it's, uh, this instrument is very sensitive and quite accurate. So it gives us, uh, um, I would say, tracks of uh, existing situations and even uh, long-lasting situations. Mm -hmm. For example, people may have the, had had some surgery long before, but we can see tracks of this. You had your stones removed, but we understand that it was not just from blue sky. Right. It is production of your body. Right. And it means that uh, some misbalance that exists in your body. But we understand what may be done to prevent it. Mm -hmm. And it's you are lucky that it was just a little, uh, I would say, bell ring mm -hmm. for you. Now you understand what you should do and we've been discussing it yesterday, so typically we not only pinpoint what is there, we give some recommendations. Yes. And in some cases it's maybe really dramatic. Mm -hmm. I can tell a story, uh, many stories of course, but in story when uh, one uh, company I've been, it was vice president of the company, and I've done his analysis, and I've told him that, sorry, you have some serious situation with your heart. Mm -hmm. He's told, no, it's totally wrong. I've done cardiogram a couple of weeks ago, everything's fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, I left the company <laughs> <laughs> without, big, without contract. Yes, 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 yes. yes. But then I was called three months later. They invited me to come and I came and they've told that in a month after my analysis, he had infarct myocarpus. Hmm. So it means that it was really in his system. It means that a uh, simple cardiogram, not always able to define it. Right. Because it's, it's not, uh, it's very, when it's really very serious, when people have pain, then it's okay. But when people have some mm, disorder, something good, mm -hmm. but not good, then it's much more difficult. And, and through your system, you can detect that much earlier. Yes, absolutely. Before absolutely. somebody reaches a, a pain point. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. With this system, this is the power of the system. Plus, we can follow up different influences. For example, your example, very good example. Yesterday, your energy was higher. Mm -hmm. And it was after the day of presentations. Yes. It was expiring presentations. It yes. was a wonderful day of Congress. Wonderful. I was really awed to see, to listen to all these presenters because mm -hmm. it was extraordinary people. Yes. And of course, when you listen to this, when we listen to those people who was able to change their life, to able to influence other people, mm -hmm. of course, it changed our energy. Right. So, so, so take that, that idea of energy because we talked mm -hmm. about it and you used me as a subject mm -hmm. yesterday. And when you looked at my, can I call it an aura? Or the, uh, what's, what's, how do I refer to that energy okay. field? So uh, in science, we need to give definitions. Yes. That's very important. I don't like the word aura because okay. it's related to some spiritual topics, to okay. some uh, topics uh, related to some uh, uh, unusual ideas. Yes. So I prefer the name of energy field. Just energy because, field. Yes. What we are measuring, we are measuring parameters. Mm -hmm. And we take spectrum and spectrum, it is uh, frequency. So in principle, we are measuring frequency. We take different parameters from the spectrum, more than 30 parameters, you see different parameters. Yes. Uh, so we evaluate them and we make statistics. Mm -hmm. Then based on those parameters, we can uh, create uh, statistical evaluation and we know what is good and what is bad. That's why when we have this green belt, uh -huh. it is the most beneficial uh, for these particular age groups. When we make this definition of normal stress level, excited, stressed, overstressed, then again it is based on huge statistics, mm -hmm. more than 100,000 people in different countries. Okay. So that's why we can attribute your particular energy stress level to the average norms. Okay. And we understand what is it uh, normal range, are you in good? practically good health state or it is something that need to be very attentive to. Okay. So 
and a plus, we use it not only as analysis, but we use it as a part of treatment. Mm, it's treatment. Uh, say yes. more. Uh, same same uh, system. So we are measuring frequency, your own frequency. Then we create through this frequency, based again on this website, we create uh, music. Mm -hmm. But music is frequency again. Yes. Then we apply this frequency to another device, little device. It's our production as well. Um, that generates super high frequency in gigahertz range. And we apply to special earphones this music and this frequency, modulated by your own frequency. Mm -hmm. So when you are listening to this music, you are uh, having this uh, frequency treatment in parallel. Mm -hmm. It lasts 10 minutes and it is absolutely direct influence to cell level. Okay. It is based on very hard science. Uh, in Russia, we have the science from uh, the end of 80s, mm -hmm. 1980s. Right. So, and I was involved in this research. Uh, so now we have very huge statistical data. We have huge clinical data. Right. And it shows that when we have this type of treatment, it is individual way of balancing your energy field and balancing your cell communication. Mm -hmm. So it transforms you to more balanced, more harmonic state. Okay. Plus, uh, it's not just simple music. It is music based on binarial tones. Mm -hmm. It means that we apply to left and right ear um, frequency a little bit shifted to mm. several hertz. Okay. And brain can uh, distinguish yes. this difference. And th what does that mean, several hertz? It is alpha. Mm -hmm. It is theta. That is frequency of our brain that is most beneficial. Hmm. So again, it gives us very uh, beneficial information, and we can follow up this by se second okay. measurement. Okay. So, so earlier, you said you're a quantum physicist, mm -hmm. PhD. Mm -hmm. How does a quantum physicist go from looking at energy in things to looking at energy in people. What was that journey? You see, um, I had a very interesting background because yeah. in Soviet Union I was involved in really different lines of uh, quantum physics science. I was in plasma physics, I was in cosmic physics, I was in laser physics and it was very interesting uh, background and it gave me a lot of understanding of uh, everything. Then I shifted to biology because uh, to my mind it's uh, most important for humankind mm -hmm. and uh, to create different way how we can support human people, that's uh, human health, that's important. And uh, being a mountaineer, I was, it was necessary for me to study some med medicine. Right. So I have some education in this field as well. Okay. So, so, so you went back to school and got additional uh, training yes. in medicine? Yes, 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 okay. absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So I have some certificates. Okay. So I'm, I, I'm able to make first aid at least. Mm -hmm. Because you know that um, I was a member of a rescue team in the mountains yes. of Soviet Union. And then we need to ha be ready to make <laughs> and I'm happy that a couple of times I was able to save human life in, in the mountains. Right. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, so you have an interesting blend of quantum physics and an understanding uh, of uh, medicine, and you've married those two together. Absolutely. Plus, of course, I never claim that I'm a medical doctor. Not right, no. Medical professional, no, not at all. But you course. work closely with medical doctors. Uh, yes, yes. We have many, many close colleagues. We work together at very high level. Mm -hmm. So I was lucky that from the very beginning of our development, because we created this particular instrument, this type of instrument, in 1995. Mm -hmm. And it attracted the attention of really high level doctors, professors in medicine. So we've done research in our medical university in St. Petersburg, in right. Moscow, in Novosibirsk, in other cities, in the United States. I was working with NIH in the United States. Oh, okay. Uh, I was working with uh, several universities in Spain, in France, in Germany. So it was really highly professional people, mm -hmm. medical professionals, who was doing this research and who was observing together with us uh, what we have. Right. So that's why 
uh, our conclusions, it's not just our ideas. It is based on thousands and thousands of clinical observations. Mm -hmm. And if we claim something, we never tell, please believe us. No, please don't believe us. Please take it yourself and test. So let me, let me pick up on that statement, mm -hmm. because I'm imagining that while you have colleagues that, that are trained physicians mm -hmm. that, that are very supportive of this, you have to bump into skeptics along the way. The in, individual, I mean, I've, I've, when I was doing some research for our conversation, mm -hmm. I know there, there are people that are out there debunking what it is that you're doing. And, and so what do you <coughs> say to the skeptics about this? You're absolutely right. All uh, my life, uh, all my scientific life when I was creating these topics, I had resistance. Yes. Always. Always. Always it was uh, not only skeptics, it was people who don't want to see anything new. Mm -hmm. Because I always tell people, okay, please don't believe me. Please take scientific papers mm -hmm. that we are publishing. Mm -hmm. It is more than uh, practically 200 papers published in peer-reviewed journals in different languages. Please take those papers and let's discuss results. If you don't like uh, our methodology, you can criticize this. We are open to critics. Even more than that, you don't believe, please don't believe. Please take instrument, take your own measurements, and then you see, is it right or wrong? Mm -hmm. So when people are open to new information, then for them it's very easy. I've been presenting at the highest level of physical societies, of medical societies, mm -hmm. and before people who didn't know what it's all about. And always it was very positive response at the end. Mm -hmm. At the beginning people was very cautious, and it's clear, and I agree with it should be. And in medicine people should be very cautious, because mm -hmm. it's so many faked uh, conclusions, right. faked uh, ideas, uh, instruments that uh, doesn't work or make something wrong. Uh, and even now I can give you thousands of examples of this mm -hmm. in medicine. Yes. Uh, so medical professionals should be very, very uh, accurate in what they're doing. And you invite skepticism. Yes, and I always invite this. I always mm -hmm. ask people, please test it, please check it. And if you have some other ideas, please prove it. Now, now one of the one of the questions that frequently comes up was something that might be viewed as less than mainstream, at least at this point in time, is can you replicate your results? And what you said earlier is you have th thousands of, of tests like this. Mm -hmm. talk, uh, talk to me about what you have learned about this process and about human energy through all of these tests that mm -hmm. you've done. Yes, so that's the most important, that it's not me who are doing this research. Yes. My idea that I am just developing uh, approach, methodology, instrument, and then people should use it. Mm -hmm. And now we have thousands of people who are using our instruments in the world. Now with this new instrument, I'm sure it will be tens of thousands because it's much more easy to use, it's quite non-expensive. Mm -hmm. So it's affordable to any practitioner, to any doctor, to any center. And we have much more complex instruments for big uh, clinics, for example. And uh, so it is very important that when we present some ideas, some results, they need to be replicated in different parts of the world. Okay. That is obligatory. Okay. And we have many cases of this. Okay. Every year we have big congress in St. Petersburg. Now it's for 18 years. So wow. it's a really long okay. history now. And uh, every year we collect, uh, people are coming from all over the world. It's about two, three hundred people mm -hmm. from different countries, from all parts of the world. Yes. Practically from everywhere, even from mm -hmm. Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, yes, yes. okay. <laughs> Absolutely. And they present their own results. Mm -hmm. They present their own vision. And of course, very often they have new ideas. They have different visions. And we respect it. So different people can have different opinions, different visions, but it's all come in one direction. It's all development. Okay. That's important. Okay. And, and so if, if I were to build on this, people come to this Congress, for example, they have different visions, but yet there is a generalized direction. 
yes. with this research. Absolutely. And well, permit me to try and put it into a layperson terms and then perhaps you can fine tune it. And that is by looking at human energy as it is measured by your camera and I mean the camera and the server and the database all have to be used together. But from, from a health and wellness perspective, that energy field tells us a lot about the, the condition of that human being that we're looking at. Absolutely. And uh, I see uh, several most important moments. Uh, so my idea, not just to create some diagnostic instrument. Mm -hmm. It's important, but it's not the only way. The main idea that I see that we need to show people that they are much more than just material body. Mm -hmm. That they are energy beings, yes. that they are light beings. And even man, much more, that by the power of their own mind, they can change their life. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's these uh, measurements. So okay. we um, take a lot of measurements during <coughs> meditation, okay. during mental training. Mm -hmm. We train uh, teach people how to make it. For example, in sport, it's one of the lines that we are doing with athletes. Mm -hmm. We work with uh, Olympic teams of Russia, with Paralympic teams of Russia, mm. uh, because I'm in the Institute of Sports Sports, in Russia. Yeah, yes. And uh, this is uh, top level athletes. And they need this training, not only physical, but mental. Mm -hmm. Because at some level of achievement, Mm -hmm. It's not enough to have a physical body, it's not enough to have big skills, but you need to understand what you are doing. Okay. And you need to be specially prepared. Okay. Konstantin, thank you so very much for joining us today. We've been talking with Konstantin Korotkov from the St. Petersburg University in Russia. We've been talking about leadership energy and how to maintain it. Thank you very much.